everyone, Lord of Flames here, and today, welcome to Behind the Scenes of Vital Resurrection. We'll be talking about on how long it takes to create a sixth chapter. Here we go. The plot for this movie is mostly taking place for four or three years after the event of the House of Fred, which that was the event where Jen and Caitlin, who is mostly the daughter of the villain of the whole saga, which was renamed from Michael to Chrysrax, which that name of Michael was not really a good use anymore, so I just changed it. And Jenny was taken by a foundation company. Knowing that her DNA cells or whatnot are mostly connected to him, which are mostly the same, because her own abilities one could be dangerous, so that's why they had to take her away. And years later, after he was killed, his body was found by another facility company, who are well soon experiment on the body to create a virus. And one of our main villains in the movie, Franklin Jenkins, who is mostly know all this the whole time, since the very beginning of this franchise. Well, the whole entire timeline and whatnot, but he knows all of this. That's why he tried to create this type of virus that could somehow turn people into monsters. That could somehow start over what the other one could not. And would that even mean? You soon figure it out for your own theories of future installments. And our main character, Alexander Scott, who's a new main character for the whole series, who will take the other character's place. Now, he will be very, a little bit important for other movies. Uh, he got, he got himself a partner named Isabella Taylor, which they decided to work together to search those missing hikers who've been missing for three weeks, I believe. Knowing it's been one year since I forgot about the plot, but anyways. And our other characters decided to do it as well, in a different way, their own side mission. Until they realize the mansion they went in, the Wilson 8 mansion, something is hidden in there, something dark. Which why the whole entire place is so empty, so quiet. Until down below is a facility where it all started for its own virus. This whole entire plot I want to do is almost give a little bit a brand new beginning, like a spiritual reboot. Like how you all remember other movies you folks watch are. So many of those sequels in that time were bad until you introduce a spiritual reboot to redeem this whole entire franchise to a much better way. So that's why I decided to start over to create this type of sequel, the sixth chapter like any folks wanted or not because the soul of Michael was uh, not really not really impressive no so the Bible resurrection is something I think about to make things horror like which I tried like I don't want to go make this six chapter to be super epic with so many fights one not like I think about it but I don't want to just want to keep it low profile or something like that The concept for this movie is a little bit alright, but a little bit difficult. Because knowing I left those arts concepts behind and some of these concepts did made in the movie, which you all be wondering what happened to those other concepts for this movie that didn't happen. Well, knowing it will just make this movie much longer, which I thought it would be longer, which it ended up being 50 minutes long, but if if I brought all those concepts together to create this movie, it would have been one hours hours long, or 150 hours long. I, I don't know, but one hours long to 50 minutes, yeah. 
but knowing it will be like there's like some of these concepts of having more enemies which are very interesting but the whole idea for their own uh, little bit creations are not because not because they're too scared no 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 it because like I know it because it'll be a little bit more fight scenes but there ain't much of it because they want to get to the plot or you want to focus in on the action scenes so I'll just show you all these stuff right now how these all these concept arts would have been like for the movie if it would have been like Bio Resurrection 1.5 or something like that
and sorry about those concept art folks like hope you have in your comments or videos about this these concept arts would have been interesting if the movie would have been that long or who knows Casting for a bio resurrection is kind of difficult if you expect it because I still using casting call club to this very day to get more actors why not for any upcoming movies or series which some of these actors didn't reply or didn't come back for one year later or months because this movie <laughs> has a big problem just like the soul of Michael which you had to keep recasting recasting every single voice actor if they didn't reply for like months or a year because for me I delayed this movie one year later because I just want to wait because I don't want I feel bad if I had to recast those actors who worked really hard for their whole work for everything they had to record until I had no choice but to uh, recast it so like some probably one of them I had to recast which is mostly the one who plays Alexander Scott because I didn't get any replies from him like it happened on November last year and still got nothing and don't know what to do and Jeremy told me to just recast him so I had just had no choice. Like, I feel bad if I had to do that. I mean, he's the same guy who play as, um, Mason Williams, the one who was from the tape scene for the teaser movie. This whole thing started when I make the first teaser of the movie by having two voice actors for the teaser, which one of them were very important, which these two are Mason Williams and Franklin Jenkins, which Franklin Jenkins is the main villain of this movie first time of just replacing Chrysax into another villain named Franklin Jenkins. Like, that's something new for me to do. So, yeah. Um, after that teaser came out, when the script is being worked on, I just let some of those actors know that the script is being worked on and they still have a chance. And when it's done, I let them know. And... The, voice, the actor of uh, Franklin Jenkins managed to get all his audio lines finished and he's really good at getting everything worked. And the voice for Franklin Jenkins is wonderful. The right vibe to the character is so perfect. Like it actually fits for the movie, for the character, even, the, even for the actor. And of course, Mason, which... Um, has a little bit few lines which he's not important in a bit he was the father of Addison Williams who is that little girl of the movie and if you might notice some scenes of the movie with that mutated person having him to grow a freaking head in his arm that was that was Mason who his body is being mutated the whole entire thing throughout the movie and some are actors which I truly want them to do which is probably making sounds of the creatures, the enemies for this movie. Which I think about that because I think it could work or you just had to record the animal sounds around the world instead without having actors doing it. Which I could have done that but I don't know. Which I got one of, which I only got two of them. Two. Which one is mostly <laughs> did the voice <laughs> of the bio crawler of the head with spider legs. And the other one who is mutated Zoe, which you, which I wanted to uh, make it sound like a half human with snake sounds, which works very well. <laughs> and there will be another problem with having the actor between Addison and Isabella, which um, she is the one who now voices Addison, which her voice could work for Isabella instead. And I could have the other one playing as Addison, but I just not to, because I feel fine for how the actors would do for the characters. The 
characters for this movie are something I would try to think of because I was thinking about just having the f some few survivors or characters from the previous chapters to show up from here, but I only have one for the post credit scene. I was thinking about just creating these new characters to take their place, to have this as a spiritual reboot way. Alexander is the first start. I was thinking of just having him as the detective or some other ways to be in some sort of connection to the other characters, but no. To make him as a new character, which he's important in some way. Alexander has been doing his job for 10 years. And now we introduce Isabella who's new to the job and becoming a partner to Alexander. Franklin, who's mostly decided to become the main villain for this movie. I was close, close to have Chrysrex to still be the main villain throughout this movie. But I had enough of my, for myself to play as him because my voice don't fit to him anymore. So I tell you just cut that out and just have Franklin being the main villain. And there are characters who are mostly a little bit extra or side supportive in the movie. Jacob and Michael, which I decided to have that name Michael to this new character because I have too many characters in the saga that have the same name Michael. So what choice do I have? Uh, anyways, Michael and Jacob are mostly partners. Well, Jacob is mostly a detective. And Michael is mostly a police officer. They have, like, when I wrote down that part of the script for those two characters, I truly like how I want them to just a little bit explore around a few bit parts of the streets or cities, or a little bit explore around a few bit on the ground near the facility. I think about having more to it, but I just want to get this movie ready in some way, but knowing it just will be difficult to work on. Well, maybe that's not true. I'm just being dumb. And our characters are mostly extra throughout the movie, which some of them could be useful to uh, talk about what's going on with the rumors. Because that's the other thing about rumors throughout this movie. Like, what I mean is the plot. Where everybody around, like, extra characters throughout the scenes talking about these rumors or what's going on. Like, that's the other thing I could think about in the first part of the movie. To have Michael and Jacob having a few more scenes with other people. And searching around and found some random objects or something could be useful. Or find something disturbing. Like, that could be something I want to do for these characters. But I didn't have much time for it because I was focusing on Alexander the most. And a little bit to Isabella. The character for the cameo appearance, Jenny Caton. I decided to bring her back because that's the other thing because she didn't die in the previous movie. She was being taken. And why did she came came back when she somehow was still in the facility? Let me explain. Knowing that this takes place three years after the event of House of Fred, Jenny was still in that place being analyzed one us because her own ability, the stuff that she had from Chrysrex is somehow could be dangerous and they tried to contain it and sometimes going on she managed to uh, control it like she managed to get used to it but that's the other thing I will have to change her character again because there will be plans of remaking the previous chapters to make everything all sense Now this, this is a big problem for, for this movie. Body of the Resurrection was close to come out on October, like in that time in last year. I don't think about having it that way. Until some actors didn't reply to me. Like I already just give them the link to the script so they can just finish it while I'm working on the animations. And still got no replies and it's been a f month and I decided to just delay the movie next year which is this year 2021 and 
Still no announcement or any t trailers yet around that time. Until I upload two trailers in on October. Until I manage to get some of those actors to come back to finish the rest of their lines and recasting Alexander. And it's all done. Even getting the voice actor for Jane Caden for the previous movie. I didn't recast her because I don't want to be like that guy. I managed to get her back to have a few lines for her cameo appearance for Jenny. And it's all done. Because I don't want to delay this movie again because let me <laughs> this this guy right here is a big problem. Because there was a freaking virus in this thing. I don't know how why or I don't know what I just got in it. All the projects ever scenes like even I remake some of those scenes weeks later are in this thing. So many important stuff. I try, I try to to recover it by paying Mini Tools software for 60 bucks for one month, of course, and still loading, loading, loading to recover it, which is still in 0%. One day later, it's in 1%. Next day, 2%. So it's just a waste of time. So it's mostly this virus is somehow powerful to slow down or just stop it. So I just think about just delaying it because I give some little bad news to the voice actor Franklin Jenkins. And I feel bad for him. Even for the actors. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a bad person who's just give these guys line and just leave it right there to, to just cancel the movie or delay it. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to. Until I looked onto the other drives I had and I managed to have a few projects or a few backups of those animations and the audios. I managed to, to get everything done. And well some of them I had to reanimate it. Like the one with Franklin transform into his own form. To the monster he is and and I had to reanimate the opening title with all those names being appeared and now it's all done I don't have to just think about remaking it so I just don't want to slow everything down I finally got everything all in the movie is now done and it's now out when I done it I just whew. I just had enough to work on this film because this movie is much difficult like the soul of Michael. Because delaying movies are just full of crap, you know? I hate how good movies are so much into delaying or not. But I don't want to delay this movie again. I don't want to. don't want to end up like the soul of Michael. From Soul to Michael to By the Resurrection. The Soul of Michael was close to be the sixth chapter after the event of House of Fred. But when I get into too much of these concepts to make this movie too action and whatnot, make it look like Transformers or Ant Marvel or DC whatnot or Halo to have these too many actions or fantasies or whatnot crap, it's too much. And the characters are just uh, not really good. Cause I thought they were really good in that time, but until years later, the way I look back to the previous chapter, cause there were nothing, any actions or not much sci-fi whatnot. It's too much to handle this movie. So all those actors, all the cast from the part one, done older lines, and I just cancel the movie and reboot it to buy the resurrection man with that happened I feel bad for the cast who went through all that in the soul of Michael I feel bad for them but I decided in future projects probably a next probably a sequel to buy the resurrection I would bring those cat bring all those actors from the of Michael 
to these movies. Give them a chance. Without being a, a, a without being a, a bad person who is not really nice to them. So, that would be a good idea to give those people a chance to be in these projects, which they closely had the other ones, but didn't. So, so my goal was was make to make this franchise to make it to action, but not to sci-fi, until to by direction back being horror and a little bit few action went way, but still being horror. So, this whole entire thing of a sixth chapter was chaos, you know, chaotic one night. After I'd done writing down the last parts of the script, thanks to the other one who worked a lot for this, for this movie, I was thinking about ending the whole entire series right there, because knowing there ain't much, because Christrex didn't do that much in this chapter, and Franklin, as the new villain, was close to release all those monsters to the whole world, but failed thanks to Alexander and the rest of the other characters who managed to stop it. Now think about just having the whole entire series ended right there. Because Christlex was actually dead at that time. Like I would think about just killing him off and have all this ended right there. But it can't just end in the whole entire series right there like that way because knowing we just got Jenny back and introduced these new characters who just was their purpose. So I decided to just create more future installments like more sequels so we'll be for start of a short ep with a short series with three episodes called by the resurrection survivors which that one is about with any survivors who were fighting the whole life inside those inside the facility before Alexander and the rest came in we well, want to know how that happened so I decided to make that one first until we'll get to the Lost Hope series with two seasons which that one is almost something new I want to think about making and I already made the characters for season one and a little bit few for season two and I already got the cast set up for season one which one needs to finish her lines or I had or I had to recast and then an actual sequel to By the Resurrection. Yes, there will be a sequel to By the Resurrection because these are stuff By the Resurrection Survivors, The Lost Hope, are mostly spin off series. And even remaking the previous chapters. And I had no choice but to just need to because these characters just show up out of nowhere and find the right direction so there needs to be more to them so I'd rather just remake all of those movies in a better way and of course the whole origins of Christ Rex what just Franklin just said to Alexander how this whole entire thing started from the beginning the very beginning no I'm not talking to you I'm not talking to you you're, you're not canon. You're not. Yes, it will be a sequel to By Direction, which will be the final installment to the whole series. And I got another message from the actor of Franklin Jenkins, who wants to know about the the sequel for, for, for his character to, to reappear, because there was something I decided to cut off in the script for By Direction, which is the post credit scene. The post credit wasn't meant to be Jenny reunited with Alexander. It was meant to be Franklin who survived. Yeah, Franklin survived from that. Well, what's left of him. What's left of him because the virus somehow managed to brought him got his conscience back, but a little bit of his body managed to crawl out from the destruction of Wilson and Mansion. 
and it just ended right there. So Franklin survived from that, and there will be an idea for a sequel taking place in a huge city with lots of stuff happening, and Franklin still being the main villain. And the way he looks, it just ugh, a little bit disturbing. The way how he survived from that. And introduce new characters, which uh, not bring Alexander, nor Isabella, nor others from the previous one. So that idea for this one is not good. So it's like to change it. Just have the movie just end it with a seven chapter, which will be called Phantom. This whole thing of creating a sixth chapter took five years. Like I first started the making a sixth chapter a little bit early in late 2017 while last night it's still being worked on and same for the House of Fred. Like all this stuff came so quickly. But delaying and delaying and delaying. And the whole concept started a lot. The soul of Michael was meant to be something new for me and for you all. Like, I already start just having the characters looks in 2018 and the story plot happened in late 2017 until casting in 2019, I believe. Until just cancel all of that in 2020. Until that same year, by the resurrection was made and delay it next year. And here it is; it's already out. So five years to make an actual six chapter for the whole Soul Soul Night Saga. Just five years took that long to make a six chapter damn I hope you enjoyed this folks leave a like comment and subscribe for more this is Lord of Flames here I'll see you guys next time bye folks have a wonderful day